button. All right, we're here. We're gonna do the stud conversion from Wheelmate. Um, we got Monster Blackout Lugs. Wheelmate 125 into 1.5. We'll see how that works out. Uh, we got everything from evasive.com. So what we got here is we got our star lug if you're doing a stock and you're going to need your adapter. Hopefully it's somewhere in your glove box or somewhere in your car. Um, other than that you need 17 mil impacts. Um, we got ours from Arbor Freight. Nice clean sleeve so you're not messing up your rims. Highly recommend. We have a torque wrench. You're going to need a 6 mil socket, Allen key. Uh, torque wrench should be set at 35 foot pounds of torque for your wheel studs. We're going to blue lock tight the, this side. I would, yeah. Um, two ways you can do this, you can either turn around and put something in there, which I don't recommend because you might, you might mess your threads up. I've seen other people do it that way, I'm not really a fan. And we're just going to turn around, push on the brake, and uh, we should be able to torque them all like that. Good to go? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do them in the star pattern, it's just the way I do my rims. That's the one I started. All right, hold on. One should all be second check. All yours. Perfect. Last one. Yeah, we're good. All right. Now we're gonna turn around, throw the rim back on. If we're done. That's where the other lug nut is. It's still on the rim. Here we go. Tires have so much meat on them, man. All right. Let's see how these puppies fit. Might have to jack it up a little more. We'll see. Like a glove. All right. I always hand thread my lug nuts on first. Make sure they're on there nice.
the monster lugs are in a 17, they're going to be a 19. We're just going to hit them with a one impact setting on the Ryobi. We're going to torque them with a torque wrench and make sure they're absolutely what they should be. Make sure we're in the and flush. Don't go crazy with your impact wrenches, fellas. And start pattern like usual. They're actually pretty flush considering. I thought they were going to stick out more. That's great. That right, looks good there. Then we're going to take our always torque them down. Make sure our puppy here is uh these should be torqued down to 105. So this one's a little old school. We don't have the digital coolness yet. We'll get there. Uh, that's a hundred. 105. Oh, I'm gonna need my trusty assistant on the brakes. Pretty pleased with Terry's on top. Mad scientist, Mad coming scientist. To work. <laughs> uh, looks good though. I like it. It looks a little more industrious, yeah. but I, I just already feel better about it. Ready? Yes, sir. You good? Good. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Looks good. I like it. I, I think it's a cleaner look. That looks serious. Mm-hmm. Race car status. All right, we're going to do the backs. <laughs> and that is exactly why we're putting wheel studs on it. That's obnoxious. Also, fellas, as you notice, I backed up uh, Jack from the back corner. If you jack it high enough, you can do the whole side at one time off one jack. Obviously, make sure you have your wheel chucks. Make sure you put your safety precautions in place so you're not jack dropping anything. You, I mean, not that you're going to be underneath it, but you sure as hell don't want to hurt your car. Jack stands if you feel more comfortable. Yeah, with them. absolutely. Nothing wrong with being too cautious when you're working with your car. Yeah, seriously. You don't want to get squished under it or don't foot. Get squished. <laughs> don't want to hurt your baby. Thank you, sir. Also, guys, for the wheel studs, I used a 3.8 torque wrench and I didn't want to go overkill with the, the half inch so I would recommend it you don't want to go too crazy with the torquey 30 35 pound of foot pounds isn't isn't that much Also, I highly recommend Jack Pad. I found this one on Amazon. Got it for like eight bucks. Made out of aluminum. Feels like really good quality. All in all, easy job. I would say to jack it on one side if you possibly can. Definitely get the jack. 
Jack meat. Jack. Jack pad. So you get the jack pad. It's much needed. Um, like I said, Amazon eight dollars. Uh, Pittsburgh wheel lug uh, impact drivers with the plastic sleeves to save your rims. Completely recommend it. Um, I mean, straightforward job, guys. 35 foot pound torque on the studs themselves. Make sure you use blue Loctite, not red. Um, and 105 foot pound torque on the actual lug nuts. Um, just don't use the impact driver on them. You, you, you could possibly strip them have other issues down the road, you just don't want that. Um, all in all, it looks great. I love the fact that I don't have to chase my rim after after taking my nut, uh, the nuts off. Good quality product. Like I said, that was uh, Wheelmate lugs, uh, lug stu or studs, and then it was Monster Lugs, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. yeah Monster Lugs, and I got them off Invasive, um, dot com, auto dot com, and uh, the price, you can beat the price point. Uh, we'll have links to down in the description and everything yeah. if you're looking to get any of Any the of the products, parts, uh, tools, uh, anything like that that we use specifically for this job. Yep. Alright. Other than that, make sure you like, hit that like button, subscribe, share, uh, share. don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get notifications each time we post a new video. Yep, thanks a lot. Thanks guys.